this is Daniel Hutchins and today we're going to be talking about some more Marvel news. So today we're going to be talking about Doctor Strange 2. So okay, so Doctor Strange 2 will reportedly introduce America Chavez. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering what the heck this is all about, but I just said what it was. It's Doctor Strange 2 will reportedly introduce America Chavez. Okay, so, Doctor Strange 2 was reportedly cast in the Hispanic female teenager from comics we know as America Chavez. Okay, now hang on to your hats because this is going to be crazy. Okay, so Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is reportedly cast in Hispanic female teenager and supporting lead. Who could be America Chavez? or we know as Miss America, when Marvel Studios head Kevin Foggy and announced that the initial projects on the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4 slate, it was confirmed that Doctor Strange sequel will release in... Well, that date's wrong, but okay. The title was unveiled as Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, with Benedict Cumberbatch to return as Stephen Strange. Foggy also revealed MCU actress Elizabeth Olsen Will reprise her role as one of Max Moff, we know as the Scarlet Witch. Yep, yep, figured. So, okay, so San Diego Comic Con 2019, there were announcements made. Foggy brought out Doctor Strange director Scott Derrickson and confirmed he'd return for a sequel. However, Derrickson has since departed Doctor Strange's sequel, and Multiverse of Madness is currently without a director. With the May 2021 release date already slated in production, expect this to start sometime this year. Now, keep in mind, guys, it got postponed. So, Marvel Studios is searching for Derrickson's replacement, but in the meantime, casting continues on the movie, and a new casting call indicates Young Avengers are joining the MCU. Related to this article, what Doctor Strange 2's director exit means for MCU's Phase 4. Now, we're not talking about that. We're talking about something else. As reported by the Illuminati, Marvel is casting a teenage Hispanic female for supporting lead in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. While there may be some other clues that Marvel comic characters would fit in that description, America Chavez is most well known. It's also possible this character is an original one from the Doctor Strange sequel, but the status of a supporting lead suggests she'll be a major part of the film, and even Marvel supporting characters tend to be pulled from comics. It was also previously reported that she will join the MCU soon. Well, you can bet your buttons she probably will. Okay, so if it does turn out that America Chavez makes her MCU debut in Doctor Strange and Multiverse Madness, that will fall into line with some other Marvel characters being introduced in Phase 4. A number of young Avenger heroes are either confirmed or rumored to be joining the MCU in coming years. Kate Bishop will co-star in Hawkeye Disney Plus series. Plus, it's been reported one of Vision is casting Hawkwind. And there were rumors of kids Loki appearing in Loki show. Should all these characters actually appear in Phase 4? Well, that's a good fucking question. Marvel could unite them as the Young Avengers movie or TV show later down the road. So, still it remains to see whether Doctor Strange 2 does cast America Chavez and who eventually lands the role. Since this character is described as a teenager, it seems unlikely any actress who said they'd beef up with the role like Gina Rodriguez or Stephanie Beatrice will be cast, but given the fact that Marvel's track record of casting exact right actors in MCU roles, though, fans shouldn't be too worried. Whenever America Chavez or Miss America joins the MCU, whether in Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness or later on, Marvel fans can expect her to be played by an excellent actress and hopefully have the key to the future of superhero franchise. So, okay. The next article it talks about is Marvel just made Doctor Strange 2 much less exciting. We're going to be talking about that. And this will be a bonus from our friend ScreenRant.com. Yeah, Screen Man. Woohoo! So, okay. Marvel just made Doctor Strange 2 much less exciting. Now, this is kind of crazy, but again, this is from the words of Screen Man. So Scott Derrickson is no longer director of Marvel Doctor Strange 2. 
making the film a much less exciting prospect for Phase 4. Well, we're going to be talking a little bit about that. So it looks as though Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is pivoting away from the horror genre. And that's a bad mistake for Marvel's part. Director Scott Derrickson is stepping down from Doctor Strange 2. Derrickson's remaining as the executive producer of the film, and he and Marvel seem to be in amicable terms. And only explanation they're giving it is that it was due to creative differences. That's a pretty standard industry response when a studio and director part ways. But in this case, however, it's not hard to figure out what's really going on. Derrickson is an accomplished horror director known for chilling movies like The Exorcism of Emily Rose, Sinister, and Deliver Us from Evil. Speaking on the San Diego Comic Con, he strongly implied Doctor Strange 2 would be the MCU's first horror movie. More recently, however, Marvel Studios president Ken Foggy walked that back though. I wouldn't necessarily say that's a horror film, he observed, but it'll be a big MCU film with scary sequences in it. But the director and studio clearly seem to have disagreed over the extent of Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. Should they have disagreed over this extent, to which Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness should be influenced by the horror genre, and in the end, those differences became unreconcilable. Doctor Strange 2 should bring back Aaron Taylor Johnson's Quicksilver. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about something else. It's only the latest disruption to Marvel Phase 4 plans. The entire slate had to change after James Gunn was fired, subsequently we had, leading to delay Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which we're not actually talking about. But a high profile fallen out with Sony Pictures almost with the MCU losing Spider Man altogether. Also, we're not talking about that. But this is probably the most frustrating example to date because this time around, Marvel Studios is making big mistakes. Doctor Strange 2 was the most exciting MCU Phase 4 movie. But that is a whole hypothetical change now because now we have the word was the most exciting was the most exciting was the most exciting so okay so doctor strange and was a madness was easily the most exciting for marvel phase 4 movie then it come about source of supreme made the mcu debut in 2016 if you remember if you didn't watch doctor strange watch it you won't understand it unless you watch it avengers finney war and avengers endgame positioned him to be a key player in the shared universe going forward this much anticipated sequel will also involve Elizabeth Olsen as the Squad Witch. There's speculation that her powers are being retconned as magical in nature in order to make her fit in Doctor Strange's corner of the MCU. What's more is that the multiverse clearly lies at the heart of Marvel's Phase 4 plans. Derrickson had even himself indicated that Marvel's concept of the multiverse was drawn for Doctor Strange number 21, which envisioned Earth as the center of an infinite sea. Alternate Earths as a scene in Avengers Endgame, or just one swim stroke, revealed from the center. The further away you go, the more the laws of nature change. And there are even pocket universes within pocket universes within pocket universes, such as Mephisto's Hell and Dark Dimensions. The story potential here is enormous though, especially given the involvement of Scarlet Witch, who in comics proved able to warp reality herself, but in big part of it overall, that was wrapped up to those elements being complemented by the horror genre. Well, at least we think it was the horror genre. Marvel not making Doctor Strange 2 horror is a bad idea. So, keyword, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea! Okay, so, it's important to place Doctor Strange 2 in its proper context, because this film is being made at a time when the super genre is changing shape. So Marvel Studios is still in the market leader, but they're no longer at the cutting edge. The last few years have been proved the general is eagle to the genre to expand beyond its traditional pen pole of PD-13 approach. From the big screen, Fox saw successes from Deadpool and Logan, and they signed off with Josh Boone's superhero Haunted House Horror New Mutants as well. But more recently though, Warner Bros. released Todd Phillips' Joker, which became the most profitable comic book adaptation of all time. The same pattern has been seen on small screen, with the popularity of the Umbrella Academy and the boys, proving that Netflix and Amazon don't need Marvel to make super success stories. But at this moment, Marvel Studios has no answer to change the staple genre. Related to this article, Marvel is beginning to damage the superhero genre. Well, that's really fucked up. 
but it actually has news about that. Okay, so, anyway. As a horror movie, Doctor Strange 2 could have been just what Marvel needed. While most fans have focused on the idea of alternate timelines, the broader multiverse could include any number of monstrous extra-dimensional creatures. One particularly interesting possibility was the quasi- the quasi-demonic entity named Chathon as an elder god who dwells on another planet reality and seeks to conquer her own. In comics, Scarlet Witch was born in a place that was rich in mystical energy. As a result, the Chathon was able to imbue her with latent mystical potential. When that was finally realized, Chathon began to influence Wanda, driving her mad and then possessing her. The horror element here is pretty damn clear. But then, meanwhile, Faye himself has suggested Doctor Strange 2 could introduce superhero, supernatural sorry, monsters such as vampires and werewolves in MCU. Now with Doctor Strange and the supernatural elements coming in the MCU, it felt like we definitely start exploring Blade the Vampire Hunter. Yep, yep, yeah. So he noted again in comics, these creatures were created by mystical fortunes from other dimensions. Vampires are brought into the world by cult from Dark Hurdles, servants of Chaton, who were used for forbidden enchantments to transform one of their own into the first creature of the night. This would work far more effectively in true horror though, but it's something that Doctor Strange 2 is now at risk of losing it. So that's pretty fucking crazy. So the MCU needs to expand into new genres. Marvel Studios has traditionally been a risk taker. After all, the MCU was itself a risk. A shared cinematic universe that could have brought every Marvel franchise down if it had failed. But little by little, Studios losing his reputation. Faggy has essentially turned the company into a production line of superhero content. As indicated by the fact they are able to turn out three or four, even four movies a year, scripts have loose formula to them. And there's something of a house style. All this means Marvel can produce a lot more content without making a dud like Josh Trank's Fantastic Four. But they're also unlikely to even make a Logan or a Joker. Doctor Strange 2 could have broken with that, but clearly Foggy wasn't comfortable taking that risk and making the full horror. For now, Marvel's probably still safe, but the entire superhero genre is booming. To this point, where it's no longer a surprise, or superhero flicks break about a million. Correction, billion dollars in global box office, but that can't possibly last forever, and as a result, it's only a matter of time before Marvel's pushed outside their comfort zone. Foggy would be better off beginning that process of expansion now with Doctor Strange 2 incorporating that new genres in MCU willingly rather than because he has no choice. So there you go guys, that is all your information you're getting tonight. Again, I'm going to probably do one more video, and then I will probably call this a wrap. So again, if you guys love this content, please hit a thumbs up. And if you didn't, that's okay too, because we all have reasons we don't like things. But anyway, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.